Hello guys, today I'll be reviewing Defy AI, I'll be going through its strengths and weaknesses, and watch to the end to know whether or not this is ideal for you. So Defy's main strengths include its no-code, low-code interface, which simplifies LLM app creation for rapid prototyping and MVP development. Its visual workflow builder is highly praised for its ease of use, and the platform supports multiple LLMs and integrates RAG capabilities for more accurate, context-specific responses using external data. Defy also offers backend APIs for integrating AI features into existing systems and provide features for managing models and tracking performance. For developers, its open source nature allows for customization and self hosting, enhancing data control. However, Defy AI has some weaknesses. First of all, while generally user friendly, some beginners might find the extensive feature set overwhelming initially, leading to a steeper learning curve. For complex applications, relying solely on Defy's default features might fall short, potentially requiring custom solutions or coding expertise. There have been some mentions of it feeling like an early-stage beta program at times, suggesting occasional stability issues. Furthermore, while it has a free tier, more advanced features and higher usage limits are locked behind paid plans, which can become costly depending on usage. So, Defy AI is ideally suited for product managers, marketers, business analysts, and teams looking to rapidly build, deploy generative AI applications without extensive coding. It's excellent for quickly validating AI ideas, creating MVPs, and building internal tools or automating routine tasks like summarization or email drafting. Developers also benefit from its robust features for faster prototyping and seamless integration into existing infrastructures. It's a strong choice for those it's a strong choice for those who need a versatile, accessible platform to leverage LLMs for various AI-driven tasks. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.